cell anemia, but you also have the choice on whether you learn the results of that testing. Fascinating. Right. Yeah, very interesting. Future is here, but hey, let's talk about you. You yeah. and all the weather geeks, as you call them today, talking about the okay. winter <laughs> outlook. We like that. Is cool. it going to be a bad one? Is winter coming? Right. Everybody wants to know. Is it going <laughs> to snow? Well, we talked about it this morning. It's a good turnout. Yeah, almost 300 people. As usual, we get it pretty much every year. This was the 25th annual Annual Winter Weather Forecast Conference, big, big mouthful of words there, put on by the Oregon chapter of the American Meteorological Society, hosted at OMSI. We appreciate the good folks down there at OMSI. And several meteorologists, some of us TV guys, plus some private sector meteorologists and NOAA National Weather Service out of Portland, all talked about La Nina and what their forecasts were. And they were pretty unanimous coming up here this winter in what we're all thinking. Cooler than average temperatures coming up this winter, kind of similar to last winter. Uh, now, when winter, I talk about winter as being December, January, and February, and then you average those together. More low elevation snow and ice in the Portland area down on the valley floor. Eh, not, not a guarantee so I put a question mark next to that uh, but what we do talk about is wetter than normal conditions overall again December January and February that's a typical La Nina sign and above average snowpack I think you folks at the ski resorts up in the mountains are gonna like the forecast coming up this winter now speaking of forecast today a beautiful day here's a live shot from Western Oregon University down there in Monmouth as the sun has just set and back here in downtown Portland, 64 degrees, a light southeast wind at 6 miles per hour, relative humidity 50%. These are amazing high temperatures for this time of day. A little jealous I was out most of the day before I had to come into work. Those were some really nice temperatures in the 70s up and down the I-5 corridor. You folks, unfortunately, along the coast had more clouds and fog there. I expect that to be the case again tomorrow. And then you folks over there in central and east side of the state, temperatures in the 60s and lower 70s as well going in. Now, here's a look at our visible satellite. This is only available during daylight hours, so it does go dark at the end. As you can see, those fog and low clouds that hug right along the coastline, they're beginning to push into the valleys through the caps, uh, gaps in the coast range, excuse me, coming up, and that'll spread into the valley tonight. But until then, you go out tonight, it's going to be a nice evening. We'll cool from the 60s down in the 50s near 11 o'clock hour, but no rainfall, lots of stars out there. Dry weather continues tomorrow through Halloween. I expect the kids to have a great trick-or-treating forecast, but cooler and wetter weather sets in later in the week. Here's our seven-day trend with temperatures up above normal into the mid and upper 60s on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then, like I said earlier, the bottom falls out. We get very cold. This may be a little warm on some of the models going into next weekend. A lot of cool, wet weather on the way, typical of what we would see for the beginning of November. Here's our rain chances over the next five days. Pretty minimal through Tuesday, Halloween, and then we ramp it up there on Thursday with that next system coming in. Our weather pattern shows us very vividly here now. Sunny, warm ridge, big, big strong ridge off the coast. Uh, that will continue through Tuesday, but then a big trough of low pressure digs down over the Pacific Northwest on Friday, and that'll hang around through most of the weekend coming up. Our cloud and rain forecast will let this run. Tomorrow morning, I expect those fog and low clouds to push in. Here's 1030, fog and low clouds along the I-5 corridor, maybe a few showers out there along the coast. But look at that, northeast wind pushes all those clouds off. We warm it up, dry it out, sunshine coming tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at that coastal forecast on your Sunday. Just a chance of a morning shower, then afternoon clearing temperatures right around 60. I-5 corridor on your Sunday, morning clouds and fog, but then plenty of afternoon clearing temperatures in the lower to mid 60s. Central and east side on your Sunday, a mostly sunny and nice day over there with temperatures mostly in the 60s. Cascades in the gorge on your Sunday, we'll see morning clouds in the west end, plenty of sunshine on the east end, just a light west wind, 5 to 15 miles per hour. A warm day up there at government camp at 58 with that freezing level at 9,000 feet. Seven-day forecast, guys. We'll go morning clouds, afternoon sun tomorrow, and then the big warm-up Monday, Tuesday. Great for the trick-or-treaters, and I know you've got kids that are going. My son's going. It's going to be a nice day on Tuesday, and then we cooler uh, transition to a cooler pattern coming up later in the week, and those temperatures fall. A dry Halloween. Yeah. When's the a, last time we had what that? What a shocker. <laughs> uh, three or four years ago, okay. we had a modestly dry one. Right. But this yeah. one's dry. Yeah, it Perfect. will be dry from start to finish, and we haven't had that in about a decade. Yeah. So happy I love about it. That. Yes. All right. A rescued hiker is.